Hello, my name is William James. Welcome to the uh, welcome back to the Bald Bug Geek. I am the host of this void of the YouTubes. Hi, uh, this video is uh, was brought to you today. It's not sponsored, but I love the company by Mountaineering Brand. All of that down below. If you are a gentleman who is follically challenged, i.e., myself, or have a beard, or want just some nice natural products, do check them out. So, Marvel's Eternals. Marvel, <laughs> this movie is a dumpster fire, kind of, and it's been an interesting one to watch because I decided to sit through it. I decided to sit there and go, what is this movie? I'm going to, I always make up my own mind on films and I'm not a great lover of the MCU. It's kind of, I find it very boring. Um, I'm kind of over cinematic universes and this film honestly just feels like an excuse to retcon everything it's also a very long movie like it feels it's 156 minutes and it feels so much longer than it is and i do love the critics reaction like most people are tanking it like the woke critics of rotten tomatoes are tanking this movie but the defenders and everything i've seen talking about it doesn't talk about the movie i keep seeing the same buzzwords representation diversity nothing about the film nothing about the storyline and it that constant horrible marketing and very shallow pandering marketing because they know exactly what they're doing but yeah it's sorry about that it's it's not a good movie i i sat through it and I can say this about Marvel movies. I'm not a big fan, but I've never been bored by a Marvel movie. This left me wanting to die eternally. This was slow. The pacing was bad. It was rushed. There's zero character development. There's nothing interesting happening in this movie. And it just serves as more obscure characters and a retcon rather than actually creating something original. And... It just feels generic. It's Marvel by numbers. I I don't know why I sat for it. It kind of reminds me of Black Widow in that sense. Just uninteresting and flat. And really just felt like we're running out of ideas. Why do I think it failed? I think, again, bad marketing. The marketing, the interview questions are cringeworthy with this one. But also I think that as a consumer of media, as a consumer, this film has nothing to go for it. It's uninteresting. It's flat. It's lifeless. It doesn't give you anything new. It just... that's it. And the thing is, if you're going to do storytelling, can you at least do storytelling? That's a thing that I always wanted to put out on that, is that when you're telling a story with a lot of characters, each character needs development. There are some phenomenal actors and actresses in this movie, but none of them are used. I mean, Angelina Jolie, for example, fantastic actress. Why the hell? I don't know why she's in this. This is a little bit beneath her as an actress. But this film is just lifeless and dull and slow. I will give kudos some good points, though. The combat is really good, but obviously I don't think the director understands how to direct fight scenes. I think it was the wrong director. But also I think it could have... This could have been really good if they had known what they were doing with the property. It's also extremely serious. It takes itself so seriously and not in a competent story way it it's not self-aware enough and obviously you know they're gonna people are coming out and actors are attacking people but my honest opinion of this movie is why does it exist but what is the point to this movie obscure characters and i'm gonna get in trouble for saying that obscure characters obscure bad writing slow writing Weak writing, uninteresting story, underused good actors, and just overall, let's look at all the shiny special effects and have no clue how to direct things. Honestly, I think if you're going to do a movie of this scale, this needed the guts to stand alone. And the problem also, as a few people that I know are really into the MCU have said to me, this retcons stuff that has happened. And... 
this movie doesn't it's a pointless film it's a pointless addition and we're back to square one with crap like black widow i mean that was awful i sat through that movie and wanted to die by the end of it at the end of the day again disney marvel they are disney now are pushing agendas and you can see it in the marketing rather than actually marketing a movie tell me what the movie is about tell me what the characters are doing give me some inclination on why i should watch this rather than there's women in it or there is a black woman in it or there's a this in it or that in it tell me why what makes a movie good is not the cast competent actors yes but you do need other things i also think that this film i think the mcu at this point is rather dead and none of the recent films have been interesting and i've dipped in and out i'm not the biggest fan i find it exhausting but i feel like the mar that it should have just ended after endgame that should have been the thing that should have been the one to close out the mcu and focus on stories and focus on standalones i mean i'm looking forward to the marvel uh, the new spider-man movie i'm really looking forward to that and the rumors i keep hearing really do make me go oh this is going to be fun but i have very little interest in anything else they're pushing right now and it's partly because i don't think i don't even think marvel know what they're doing at this point so let's be real